Good morning class, it's Thursday. I shouldn't be telling you that because I probably should have started this video earlier, but here we are living my life. Um, so today I'm going to tell you guys about the digital impact of the Vlog Brothers. The, bro the Vlog Brothers are a pair of brothers who started their YouTube channel in 2007. And they started it with the video segment called Brotherhood 2.0. Now this started off as um, a mean of new communication between the two of them as they weren't going to be seeing each other for a, uh, an extended period of time. I feel like this co coincides well with um, Barron's academic journal where he talks about um, technology as a new way of communication. Uh, the Vlog Brothers, both Hank and John Green, really took this to heart, where instead of doing snail mail or calling each other back and forth, they were going to post weekly YouTube videos. Um, now this has obviously um, has changed and has grown over the past couple of years, um, and they're still going strong. Uh, since the um, start of the Vlog Brothers, they have done a number of things. Um, they started helping produce and um, advise a number of other YouTube channels, including um, the, including uh, Crash Course, The SciShow, The Art Assignment, The Brain Scoop, Sexplanations, and The Healthcare Triage, just to name a few. Now in doing this, they've done a number of things. Um, Selbar talks about in his academic journal, technology is a teaching tool and one that often gets misused. Um, now what the Vlogbrothers have done through um, their different YouTube shows is they've um, kind of turned that idea on its head. Um, they've been utilizing technology as a teaching tool very well. Crash Course is a place where um, if you want what exactly what it sounds like, if you want a crash course in literature, a crash course in chemistry, in biology, and world history, just to name a few, you can go to this YouTube channel and there'll be a series of YouTube videos talking about um, that specific subject. Now this is very neat, especially if you are a high school student or a college student who, um, or a regular old adult who haven't, who has not taken a world history class since freshman year of high school, you can go back and you can look at these world, real world events um, and then be looking and kind of using that as a comparison for the world events that are happening currently. Um, now the impact of Vlogbrothers is hard to describe. Obviously when it got started in 2007, it was meant just as a mean of communication between two brothers. By the end of 2007 though, they realized that, that Brotherhood 2.0, although it needed to come to an end, um, their YouTube channel did not. And so um, from there they've done a number of things. In 2008, they've started um, the Project for Awesome, which is one of um, which is one of the neatest things that I've ever gotten to experience. Um, it, it encourages this group, this community of viewers to donate and to vote and to have a place in how um, all the money that is raised is going to impact both the world and their communities. Last year they raised um, a million and a half dollars that went to a number of different charities that all were voted on by viewers of the Vlogbrothers. Another, an, one of the other things that they've done is they've changed what it means to communicate. Um, in a 2014 article that was put out by The Observer um, for YouTube's ninth, um, ninth year, they talked about the different ways that YouTube has changed the world, um, which then by extension how the Vlogbrothers have also been a part of that. Um, they've changed what is called water, to, water cooler talk, which um, it's just meaning that we're, we're talking about different things because of what YouTube has done. And because of what the Vlogbrothers has done, they usually talk about a number of different things. In a recent video, they talked about, um, they followed the family of Assyrian refugees to kind of talk about that topic as it was reaching its popularity and reaching um, conversation in the news. Um, they also talk about love and happiness and how to make yourself happy as well as um, how to express yourself. Um, they also do ridiculous videos where John answers questions, John Green, a best-selling author, answers questions as he draws on his face with Sharpie. Um, they then talk about serious things um, like police brutality and um, world history and historical events as they're happening. Um, this then is changing kind of the way that people of the YouTube who are watching YouTube in, a, in the community are discussing things and are gaining information. Um, I remember one, another one of the things that YouTube has done has changed um, music and gaming and TV and movies, um, kind of in adding to the way that people change the way that people talk about them. It also kind of changes the way that they're presented. The last thing that they talk about, or one of the last points that they have that they had in the user article, was it talks about how YouTube connected people. Um, this has been an incredible thing to watch. Um, when I was in high school, I watched the Vlog Brothers, and it brought me to this community where they called themselves Nerd Viteria, um, which is a group of people where you like nerdy things and you want to end world suck, is how they say it. Um, now, this world suck is can be a number of things. It's kind of however you define it. Um, and through this, they there's actually a foundation has gotten started called the Foundation to End World Suck, uh, which is pretty neat. And um, it's a, one of one of the ways that Project for Awesome is run 
but it also then you can donate to um and then you have the you can then have a say in where all that money is going at the end of it um it also then is changing what it means to be part of a community youtubers has changed the face of the internet i think that i can i can boldly say um one of the things that selby talks about and um and shirky sorry one of the things that shirky talks about in his um book cognitive surplus near the end he says this um, the world's people the connections among us provide the raw material for cognitive surplus the technology will continue to improve and the population will will continue to grow but the, but change in the direction of more participation has already happened. What matters most now is our imaginations. Now, I think this is one of the things that connects well with the Vlogbrothers. They were a group of guys, um, a pair of dudes who just doing their thing, um, being brothers and living their lives. And um, they have brought inspiration and um, the means to do a, a number of different things for this community, uh, which is ranging from high schoolers to midlife people. Um, and everywhere in between and something of that the something that great and something that has had that much of an impact is something that's pretty cool so class I'll see you on Friday and don't forget to be awesome one more thing before I go uh, to kind of explain the have how I set up this video so um, I obviously I cannot talk as quickly as they can um, partly because I don't enunciate very well and also because I don't know how to edit videos which is why I had to do this all in one take <laughs> so if I left out information I apologize um, but what they do is they um, Hank starts every video by saying hello John it's and then whatever day of the week it is and then John starts off every video by saying hello Hank and whatever day of the week it is um, and so that's kind of why that's why I said hi class it's Thursday and I'll see you on Friday um, kind of following that way of doing things usually they also keep the video under four minutes which I recognize that I've gone over time but um, part of that is because a I don't know how to edit videos and B um, I don't talk as quickly as they do um, that's really all that I had oh a number and uh, one more thing um, the links to everything is in the doobly doo which is the little area below the, the title and things. Um, I'm going to figure out how to do that and it's going to be super neat. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I don't know if any more will happen because I still don't know how to edit videos. But anyway, bye. <laughs>